Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk to you about a very unique case. It's a case for the iPhone 7 Plus that enables us to use an additional set of lenses that optimize and enhance the dual lens setup that we have on the iPhone 7 Plus. It's made by a company called Xylus. This is a 6-in-1 six six in camera enhancement that not only is easy to use, it's part of this case, but you can actually change the lenses very easy. This is TK, let's check it out. Recently, I did a review for you guys for the Revolver. This is the version three. It's a three-in-one, a four-in-one lens camera that you're able to attach to the back of your case and then switch around. One of the main things about this that I think a lot of people didn't have, didn't like as much is the fact that it was so bulky and it actually extends the case a lot. Well, enters the new version. This is the Switch 6 as well as the Revolver uh, updated edition. Now, the difference between the two here is the number of lenses. Here are the back, uh, packages. The Switch 6 is a 6-in-1 lens design. Here is a 4-in-1 lens design. So this is direct the successor to the one I showed you guys just a second ago. We no longer have that rotating lens uh, uh, configuration on the back. It's pretty much just mounted. And not only that, now we have a configuration where it actually optimizes the use of these lenses for both lenses, for both camera lenses that we have here. As you know, the iPhone 7 has two cameras, one that's more of a telephoto and one that's more in regular uh, aperture. So what we have here is four sets and here we have six. And each one of them will get, take us from 1x all the way up to 10x. And now the little dot in the middle is because we switch between camera one, camera two, all the way to 10x and then what we have here is different lenses we have a super macro fisheye and telephoto those are the three setups that we get here and of course here what we have is fisheye macro wide angle telephoto super macro as well as just an additional telephoto here uh, what we have so the, the regular telephoto and then an additional telephoto option here between the two lenses as we're using in these here on the two lenses that we're getting the construction of both cases is very similar what we have here essentially is a very nice hard plastic uh, case with a nice little grip, kind of mimicking the regular DSLR grip. Uh, we don't have any ports on this side, even though it looks like there's a button for it. Uh, we have a power button on top, the, the rail, which is what we're gonna be using to, oh, sorry, we'll insert the lenses. And of course, we have the flash opening here. On this side, we have a volume rocker and the opening for the uh, notification uh, toggle right there. Nothing on top. On the bottom, we have the opening for both and as well as the lightning connector and a little lanyard option if you'd like to use that. and it pops in very easily. Again, you still have access to the options here. You can turn them on, and this is where it kind of becomes very unique. So you have one set of lenses. Now you can technically keep it like this, and with the revolver, switch them around. So you actually get the ability of doing this little uh, effect, and it pops in into space, and then you bring it down, and that's how it sits. If you try to go all the way to the top, it does actually kind of fit a little bit, but it's off-centered. So the intention here is that you pop in the lens on the four and one, and swivel it around and then you get the next lenses over. Uh, and then of course, using it with the camera, it's very simple. Now, I have it right now sitting on the macro lens. So let's just bring this in. Since we have this here and I'll show you guys what I mean. So you can zoom in all the way and here. So you'll notice right there, I'm actually able to zoom all the way to the lens right there. I can actually snap a picture. I can go in with the second camera and we are even deeper and deeper closer. You'll notice there's a little bit of smudge here. There's actually a little hair there that I didn't even notice was there and we can take the picture. The other benefit that we have here, of course, is if I take the camera out and I'm not using the lens, I'm using the camera that comes with the iPhone 7 and I zoom into this level, you notice I cannot focus. Even if I zoom out and I try to use the standard camera, it can't focus, but then just pop it in and zoom in. We are in super macro and here is super macro mode. That hair is ridiculous. I don't even know why it's there. Again, main benefit here, you're, you're getting a really good camera. Now, switching it over, we'll switch over and let's go ahead and use the standard camera. Now, this is the fisheye lens camera. You're using it in the standard mode, as you guys see right there. Uh, the main benefit here, of course, is it's just you're getting a really nice, nice picture. You can actually crop into this. And if you go to the second lens, now you're definitely in a very, very good mode and you're able to take much better pictures. Very wide, very nice, just go in, just definitely the best benefit here. Both cases have pretty much the same uh, configuration. The only thing here is the rail is a little bit longer to accommodate for the longer lenses. Again, same thing, the little uh, handles that you have mount on the back and you can keep them like this. And if you don't wanna have the lenses on, you can keep these in your pocket or put them somewhere else and then this becomes just a fully functional case. Um, again, just put them in and slide them out. This configuration does not work the same way as the four-in-one. So we're not gonna be swapping lenses or anything. So you just go one 
two, three, and that's it. When you're done, you swipe it out and you can still use your original camera. Now, the reason why I wanted to keep this here is because I wanted to show you guys again some of the main benefits. So here is the wide one. So let's go ahead and open it up. Actually, let's do it straight up. So here's the camera. This is the standard iPhone camera. Let's just bring it in here, keep it in focus for you guys. So you'll notice right now I am limited to basically, let's put it this way here. So you guys, at this point, I can't see the lens in here. I can't see the case, but let's go ahead and switch over. I just added the lens and you'll notice right there, the camera itself is already picking it up. I'm fitting more into the screen. And of course, when I zoom in, this is gonna do the exact same thing. So without, with the lens, without the lens, I'm actually able to fit more. So it gives us just a wider field of view. Switching over again to the next set of lenses, we can actually zoom in now. And then we, again, get that super level of macro level shots right there. So I'm zoomed in with the two level camera here. Look at this. And we're zoomed in and we can actually snap a picture right there. Of course, I can go with the one level. And again, this is something you cannot do with your regular camera. Last but not least, we still have the fisheye and zooming in, zooming out. Very nice, very easy. Again, take it out, becomes a regular case, put it in. You just optimize both lenses on the iPhone 7 Plus to the next level iPhone photography has been known to be one of the best ones on the market and Apple puts out really good sensors inside of their cameras and of course they went up to the next level this year with the 7 Plus giving us two sensors, a macro and a standard uh, sensor. The benefit of this case, it just gives you the ability to actually enhance both lenses individually as opposed to some of the other solutions that you see on the market where it puts just one giant lens on top of both of those sensors. This is actually uniquely designed for the 7 Plus and there's nothing like it on the market. So I want to say thank you very much to Zylus for sending me these two cases to check out. Of course, I showed you guys the Revolver one from last year. This is the upgrade version of it from last year. Very nice, very easy, and very slim, and not as much of a, a, much of a, like a bump on the back of the device. Uh, other than that, the case is very solid. It works really good. It does fit with glass protectors on the 7 Plus. I do have a glass protector here. So very, very nice. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.